Today I'm going to show you how to clean up a noisy voiceover with Isotope RX9. But first, please like and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. I've started a Patreon where you can get early video views, mixed feedback, and other benefits. And head over to palebluedot.ca for free goodies and information on my upcoming mini course. I have a poorly recorded voiceover here from yours truly. Let's take a listen. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. So we hear background noise, traffic noise, a truck that drives by, all sorts of fun audio things. Let's see what we can do with Isotope RX. Note, I was given a review copy of RX9, but I've been using it for years in my broadcast work. This video is not sponsored. First, I'll start with the most obvious problem, the background noise. One of the best things about RX is that it has a noise suppressor designed specifically for voice. Most noise reduction plugins are one size fits all, but Isotope has an algorithm specifically designed for separating voice and vocals from background noise. And all you have to do is insert the voice denoise plugin to get results. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. In its default adaptive mode, Voice Denoise analyzes the incoming signal and adjusts the noise threshold automatically to compensate for changes in the noise floor. I find adaptive mode is the one to use on voice nine times out of 10. And we can hear that the signal has improved greatly. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Now, this is such a poor recording, we're never gonna make this sound like a perfect take in a treated room, but we can mitigate the garbage in the signal and make it more intelligible to the listener. Having this kind of speed and simplicity has really saved me on many broadcast projects with poor location sound. The other settings to be aware of here are the dialogue versus music optimization. If you're cleaning up a singer's voice, then you want to use music as it eases processing on sustained notes so as not to affect the performance as much. Surgical and gentle control the severity of the reduction. I usually stick with surgical, but it's good to try switching as you can get less artifacts with gentle, but you might not get the reduction you want. The great thing about Isotope RX is that the threshold and reduction are set automatically after it analyzes. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. But if you want more reduction, you can go ahead and crank that, but you will probably get more artifacts. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. That actually sounds pretty good. Now with a VO this noisy, I'll try adding another denoise plugin after this to try to remove more noise. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Probably lower the reduction a little bit, but this sounds pretty good. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. You can play with the amount of reduction to balance noise reduction and artifacts. Something else that's annoying in this recording is the traffic noise. Actually, I think this is a lawnmower mostly. And I can use isotope D-hum to reduce this. So I insert D-hum and then I have to loop a section with the hum, or the lawnmower in this case, and hit learn. Let's try to find a section of pure noise here. That's pretty good. So I'll hit learn. Look at that. And bam, we're done. The home is almost completely gone. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. Let's hear it with the noise reduction on. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. I'm gonna lower the reduction on the second unit. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. 
My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. So what's happened is DHUM has analyzed the import signal and automatically suggested the best bands and settings to remove the humming sound. Now what we can do here is, since the lawnmower hum is in the low mids, we can drag this handle over and limit the processing to just where we need it. Let's go back to the loop here. So I'm going to bypass. So the hum is back. Now we have, it's doing uh, EQ dips across the spectrum here. Let's just see if we can find only where that is. So I hear the hum comes back in. Take it back here. Bring up the low end. So I hear the hum come back in. So I could probably safely just process in this area. And that way there's less spectral processing happening on the vocal after this. Let's hear how this sounds. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Bypass. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. Enable. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Sounded pretty good. And I could go ahead after this and add some typical voiceover EQ and compression. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. Okay, so let's bypass that. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the And enable. Okay, so there's a lawnmower in the distance. There's a fan blowing directly at me. My dog just moved on the ground and there's traffic outside. So you can take just two RX modules, insert them and let them scan and do their automatic thing and get instantly better results. This is a real time saver for producers who don't have the best vocal setups. And the great news is that you can get voice denoise with the entry level RX elements, which is sometimes as low as $29 during sales. So it's great that you can get that in their entry level product. Another excellent module in RX-9 that I use all the time is the D-Reverb module. I recorded another VO in even worse conditions, so I got much more room reflections and a thinner sound. I am not referring to the absolute, infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite discouragement and incredulity by making that our only and immediate goal. So what I'll do first is run the denoise plugin. We want to apply the denoiser first because it'll make it easier for the D-Reverb plugin to pick out the reverb tails. If we put the denoise after the D-Reverb, we'll get choppier results. Think of it like clearing up the source first as if you had a good recording, then go hunting down the room reflections. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and It's goodwill. already way better of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite discouragement and incredulity by making that our only and immediate. Okay, now I'm gonna add the D reverb. So Isotope recommends that you learn the source first so it can separate the bands and choose the best thresholds and values for each band. Let's hit learn. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. There, and that's definitely an improvement, but I do hear some chirpy artifacts or musical artifacts as they're called. I am not referring to the absolute 
infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some so to mitigate some of the artifacts, I can obviously adjust the amount of reduction. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams. But what I like to do with D-Reverb is say, where are the most reflections happening and focus on those. I can already hear most of the sweet, sweet room action is happening in the low mids, probably some of the mids too. So I can solo these bands. I am not referring to the absolute The absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies. I'm going to reduce the lows. I don't think there's that much reflection happening in there. The value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams. I think that's a bit better. Another thing you can do is use enhanced dry signal, which is great for dynamic content like vocals. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. Now, if I was going to add this to a video, I'd EQ this to have some more low end to simulate the proximity effect, where you get that nice warm low end if the speaker is closer to the mic. Think an SM7 radio voice. This can help trick the listener to thinking the voice is closer and more intimate sounding instead of the harsh, boxy room reflections we had before. I am not referring to the absolute, infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite. I am not referring to the absolute, infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes. And I wouldn't normally do a boost this high on a on a voiceover, but the absolute, infinite concept. This is the worst case scenario, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I do not deny the value of hopes and dreams, but we merely invite. I am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill a little compression and fanatic stream i do not deny the value of hopes and dreams but we merely invite i am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatic stream i do not and yes ultimately this sounds kind of choppy and artificial but let's bypass and hear what the other option would be i am not referring to the absolute infinite concept of peace and goodwill of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I am not referring to the absolute, infinite concept of peace and goodwill, of which some fantasies and fanatics dream. I know which VO I'd choose. Add a little background music and most people wouldn't notice. And don't be afraid to turn off adaptive mode in denoise and try out manual mode. Manual mode can be the most transparent when the background noise is generally the same, like HVAC noise and computer fans. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. This voiceover has RX denoise applied to it in manual mode because my iMac stupid fans kick in hard during these audio demos. Since I'm usually using Logic to record my vocals in system loopback while I'm demoing something in Cubase. I can't wait to get an M1, let me tell you. But I digress, here's my VO without denoise. Let's go back to the loop here. And with denoise back on. Let's go back to the loop here. So you can hear that's some pretty nasty fan noise. But all I did was loop a section of that noise, hit learn, and now it's totally transparent. I think this is a great example of the results you can get with RX for vocals. So that's a couple ways to quickly clean up a VO with Isotope RX9. There is so much more to explore with RX, I'll definitely be doing more videos on that in the future. But for me, this is an indispensable tool for cleaning up audio in less than ideal situations. Are there any things you'd like to see done with the Isotope RX in future videos? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to palebluedot.ca and sign up for my newsletter. I have freebies to give away, mixing cheat sheet, plus you can get information on my new mini course about mixing. Until next time, mix well.